in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Right on our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. A listener sent me what I'm about to read you. It's from Craigslist. It's one of the greatest Craigslist postings I've ever read. I couldn't have read this better myself. I couldn't have written it. I just, I was blown away. I read it and I laughed out loud. So I'm going to read it to you. You're going to, you're really going to enjoy it. I, especially if you're a guy, you're really, really going to enjoy it. But I want everybody to listen to the content here and then tell me how much truth you think is in this. I personally think it sounds like a documentary. Sounds like uh, an encyclopedia listing. This does not sound like just fiction. It really, really, really resonated to me. Let's see if it resonates to you. This posting is called It's Me. Every girl ever. And it goes like this. Knock, knock. Oh, hi. How's it going? It's me. Every girl ever. I'm really looking forward to this date. I'm not nearly as attractive as you remember me being because when we met, the bar was dark and you were drunk. Come on in. Let's start off with that unavoidable tour of my incredibly typical post-college girl apartment. You'll notice that I went ahead and purchased everything that Ikea and Pier 1 have ever produced. There's my decorative birdcage over there, even though I don't have a bird. And there's my gay wicker basket with bamboo poles in it. I don't know what the hell that thing's all about, but I bought it. (laughs) Hey, check it out. I've got more candles in here than a Roman Catholic church. Doesn't it smell like hazelnut? If I were to light all of my candles at once, you could see my apartment from space. (laughs) I effing love candles. Come on into the living room. Oh, I see you met my cat there. That's Freddie Paws Jr. Why don't you pet him and act like you like cats, even though you hate cats? There you go. Oh, he took a little swing at your eye there, huh? Yeah, he'll do that. Hey, let's go check out the kitchen. Hey, look at my refrigerator. There are pictures all over it. Look at all these pictures of me and my equally vacuous friends from college. We were so crazy. You can tell we're really good friends because our faces are all pressed up against each other like that. And check it out. We're holding up alcoholic beverages to the camera in every single picture. That's to prove we were partying. College was so fun. But of course, I don't talk to any of these girls anymore because now they're all bitches. Let's go back into the hallway. Hey, before we leave, I'm going to go to the bathroom for about ten minutes for some mysterious reason. Why don't you sit awkwardly in my big, stupid, round papazon chair over there while you wait for me? It's like you're sitting in a hug. Be right back. Sorry that took half an hour. I don't know what the hell I was doing in there. Let's go. Wow, thanks for opening my car door for me. I'm totally going to blow that meaningless gesture out of proportion and delude myself into thinking that you're a really good guy, because that's what I want to believe. Well, here we are at the restaurant. No thanks, waiter. I don't need to see a menu.